YouTube it's Nick with Feeding Fitness. Um, today I'm going to talk about something that I've been doing um, for about the past two months that has really really helped enhance my lifting and it's something I would have never in a million years thought I would be doing. I started doing yoga one day a week and I've been doing um, vinyasa yoga and it's heated. I love it. It is really really complimentary to lifting in ways I never thought it would be. Um, basically it's a one hour class once a week and it's kind of like a beginner to intermediate level class. It's strength based but still incorporates a lot of stretching and flexibility which is great. Um, that was probably my biggest problem. I'm not as flexible as I could be and an organized class is just something that I kind of like. I, I sometimes have trouble getting myself to just stretch every day. Um, I prefer this class better. And it is still strength based. A lot of the moves require strength. And it's a very good core workout. Another thing that um, I might tend to neglect in my regular lifting. Um, as some of you might know, I've mentioned it in videos before, I also have a lower back injury that I'm recovering from. So there's a lot of core things that I can't do. I'm fairly flexion intolerant and I can't do things like weighted crunches. Um, things like planking are where I do the majority of my core work and that's kind of the stuff you do in um, yoga. So uh, I wanted to wait until I had done it long enough to really kind of start to see a difference and I thought six weeks um, was enough time that you know if there's going to be a difference I should see it and there really really is it's so much easier to get into good form on a squat and get deeper um, I've just noticed that that it's so much easier for me to find that form um, and it's not just things like that you work hip flexibility you work shoulder flexibility um, just things that you're probably not getting in your lifting workout and they also the, the strength that you use is so different than that of your um, weight training. You know, I pride myself in my leg strength, specifically my quad strength. Um, squat is one of my best exercises, but some of the holds you have to do in yoga have your quads killing you. It's very different to hold in a position for several seconds versus the explosive strength um, that you get from a squat. So um, after six weeks in, I can definitely say it's totally worth doing. You know, when I first thought about it and you know had some people suggest I might like to try it I thought it was hippie bullshit and it was what old women did and oh, this is so far from the truth it's really an intense workout um, and as a bonus I'm sure I'm burning a decent amount of calories doing this for an hour um, so since I'm on a cut that's just added deficit you know it's probably burning the equivalent in calories of a cardio session, but it's not a cardio session. It's more strength and flexibility based. Um, there's a great studio, uh, you know, real close to where I live. It's called Yoga Strong. Um, I really, really like it. Um, there's several different instructors that I've had, and they're all very good. And every class is a little bit different. They tend to hit all the body parts, but in different ways. And each week I go, you know, I learn a different move or we do something different. Um, the other thing I like about the class is, like I said, it's a beginner to intermediate class, but your skill level isn't very important. For every single move in yoga, there are like three, four, five different ways to make it harder. So once you've mastered the basic move, they'll always tell you, well, try moving your hand here if you want more challenge, or try raising your leg here if you want more challenge. And then once you've mastered that step, they'll take it a step further. So you could essentially do this basic intermediate class for over a year and still, you know, be working yourself. Um, I hate things that don't increase in difficulty as time goes on. You know, just like your weights work out, if you're not adding weight to the bar over time, or if you're a runner and you're not trying to run further or faster, I don't like going and doing the same thing to the same skill level every time. I feel like eventually you adapt to it, then you're just wasting your time. So I like how yoga has built-in progression. There's always a next step to take it to, and I feel like any physical activity you do you should be able to take further. Otherwise, um, I do think you're wasting your time doing the same thing over and over. You should always be trying to improve. So um, definitely something worth checking out uh, if you have a place in your area to do it. Um, I've really, really 
benefited from yoga. Um, it's made my lower back feel better than it has in quite some time. And like I said, the flexibility and um, things that it's added to my lifting uh, certainly make it worth a one hour a week time investment. So uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, questions or comments below. If you do yoga yourself, um, please let me know what you think about it and why you like doing it. And uh, you can join us at the Facebook page at facebook.com upslash feeding fitness. I'll see you guys next time.